not all relationships end happily ever after. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 most tragic TV romances. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at great love stories in TV shows that either ended in a tragic death or were pulled apart for some other devastating reason. We will, however, only be counting couples who actually got together. Also, if you're not caught up on these shows, a spoiler alert is in effect. Number 10. Rachel Berry and Finn Hudson, Glee. We've got tonight. Who needs tomorrow? Through all the ups and downs, the breakups and makeups, the times they hurt each other and the times they amazed each other, everyone knew that Rachel and Finn were endgame. We are endgame. I know that, and you know that. Though their relationship wasn't perfect, it was beautiful nonetheless. Even when they were broken up and miles apart, they were always there for each other. Make those producers fall in love with you in that moment on the stage. And I know you have it in you. Sadly, due to the real-life untimely death of Corey Monteith, Finn died too. Rachel was obviously heartbroken, and we never got to see them back together. Go to the ends of the earth for you To make you feel my love Number 9. Maggie Green and Glenn Reed, The Walking Dead If you read the comics, then you had a heads up about Glenn's gruesome death, but that didn't make it any easier to watch. Finding true love in the apocalypse is no easy task, but Maggie and Glenn found it in each other and even got married. Yes. They were basically a zombie-killing power couple. That is, until Glenn was ruthlessly killed by Lucille, Negan's barbed wire-wrapped bat, as Maggie was forced to helplessly watch. Back to it. <laughs> and even worse, Maggie was left to raise their unborn child alone. Number 8. Karen Rowe and Keith Scott, One Tree Hill. This show has more than its fair share of tragedy, but perhaps none of it can compare to what happened to Karen and Keith. They were friends as teenagers and remained friends as adults. Keith helped Karen raise her child when his brother Dan bailed on her. Single guy. Single girl, lots of history. Nothing's gonna happen. We'll see about that. And yet they still spent a lifetime finding their way to each other. Then Dan, jealous and vengeful, killed his brother during the school shooting, letting poor Jimmy Edwards take the blame. The entire town was rocked by Keith's death. But worst of all, Lucas was left without a father figure and Karen without a father for her baby. Their perfect little family was over before it began. I know I wasn't there for you and Lucas, but you shouldn't have to raise another child on your own. I didn't raise Lucas alone. I had Keith. Number seven, Laurel Castillo and Wes Gibbons, How to Get Away with Murder. Stop being so nice. It makes me feel weird. Through all the murder and mayhem on the show, one of the brighter spots was Wes and Laurel's relationship. Even before they got together, they were a frequent pairing, teaming up to help Wes learn the truth about his past. One of the best things about them is that they weren't your standard will-they-won't-they -they couple. And when they did get together, it just kind of made sense. Seriously, though, I thought I'd never stand a chance. <laughs> Look at you now. But naturally, their happiness couldn't last, and Wes was killed leaving Laurel carrying his baby. Do you know what happened? Do you know what happened to him? No! 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 Worst of all, Laurel learned her own parents were responsible for Wes's murder. If Wes and Laurel aren't the definition of tragedy, what is? My father killed Wes, and you're gonna help me take him down. Number six, Lady Mary and Matthew Crawley, Downton Abbey. Say hello to your son and heir. This one we can at least blame on actor Dan Stevens wanting to leave the show. Matthew promised that he would love Mary until the last breath left his body. But first, I think I've earned a decent kiss. You've certainly have. 
Well, his last breath came a lot sooner than fans expected. After several seasons of ups and downs and dramatic struggles, Mary and Matthew finally ended up together. Lady Mary Crawley, will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? Yes. Mary had just given birth to their son, and it seemed like things were finally going to work out for these two when Matthew died in an unexpected car accident. Number 5. Jack and Rebecca Pearson – This Is Us This show makes us cry literally every episode, so obviously its main couple makes this list. You're not just my great love story, Rebecca. You. You were my big break. Thanks to the show's format, we knew pretty much from day one that Jack eventually dies, and we can see the effect it has on his family in the present. But you almost forget about that when you start to become invested in Jack and Rebecca's relationship. Seeing it withstand tragedies like losing one of their triplets, Jack's alcoholism, and the everyday trials of raising a family. But thanks to a faulty crockpot and Jack's heroic nature, Jack and Rebecca's love story ends far too early. The fact we thought he escaped the fire safely made it all the more devastating. <laughs> Number 4. Wesley Wyndham Price and Winifred Fred Burkle – Angel Just hit that line, I'll be here in a heartbeat. Assuming I still have one. Gosh. Deaths in the Buffyverse usually operate as tools to propel the story forward or offer important character development but Fred's death was just so senseless. These two had many ups and downs, but they eventually found love in each other. I finally get you up to my bedroom and all you want to do is read. And just when they were finally happy, Fred randomly got sick, with an ancient being infecting and ultimately killing her. Will you kiss me? We had to watch her deteriorate in Wesley's arms and die only to have a demon take over her body and continue on with the Angel Investigations crew. <gasps> Why can I stay? Imagine how Wesley must have felt seeing her face every day, but knowing it's not her. Number 3. Clark Griffin and Lexa, The Hundred The next commander will protect you. There were a lot of things keeping Clark and Lexa apart. They were the leaders of two feuding peoples, and despite their best efforts to bring everybody together, there were still those who would go to war rather than join in peace. There was so much left unspoken between them, but as Clark was about to return to Arcadia to help her people, they finally shared an intimate moment together. It was short-lived, though, because Lexa later took a bullet meant for Clark and died in her arms. Lexa! Lincoln and Octavia, the original Grounder and Sky Girl, also ended very tragically when Lincoln was executed. Maybe I'll send a picture of a lot of time. Number 2. Sun Hua and Jin Su Kwan Lost. <sighs> Almost every relationship on the show ends tragically, but perhaps none more so than Sun and Jin. Jin. You have to go. No. I can do this! At the beginning, it seemed that Sun was this fragile woman and Jin was her abusive husband. But the more you learned about their backstory, the more sympathetic they both became. They worked hard at their relationship, lost and found each other several times, and somehow being on the island brought them closer together. But sadly, in the final episodes, Sun got trapped in a sinking submarine. <laughs> Refusing to be apart again, Jin stayed with her, and they died together. As tragic as it was, it was equally beautiful. I love you, son. I love you. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You told me that was enough for you, but now I realize. You watching me sleep? Uh, no. Sorta. Of. But mainly I was just waiting for you to wake up, and in the process of waiting for you to wake up, I was, yes, I was watching you sleep. As I was kissing her, all I could think about was you. I never want to be with anyone else. Kissing her only made me realize how much I love you. Number 1. Buffy Summers and Angel 
Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I love you. I love you. Though the groundbreaking pairing of Willow and Tara definitely deserves recognition as one of TV's most tragic couples, it's the main couple of this series that tops our list. <laughs> Although you could kind of see it coming that it probably wouldn't work out, considering he's an immortal vampire who would turn evil after experiencing one moment of true happiness, you still rooted for them. Buffy having to kill him herself to save the world was absolutely devastating. But possibly even more tragic was that after getting a second chance, they made the conscious decision to say goodbye and walk away from each other. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.